what are modifications modifications is a very general term now to modify means to change to change as in to change so that the change is for the benefit of whatever changes we are doing to uh, maybe if it is a house you are modifying the house to make be create more space to make it more beautiful similarly modification in a vehicle maybe you know you are changing the seat cover you are changing the color of your vehicle you are attaching some fancy lights to it you are modifying in a similar way modifications do happen even in nature right now nature is well aware of what is best correct so according to the habitat according to the place where they are growing according to the soil conditions the environmental conditions the availability of the resources nature also does modifications in the living world right from the unicellular organisms to the most complex organism you will see the modifications happening in the living world now last year if you remember we had done done uh, adaptations now what are adaptations they are again modifications right though we all belong to the animal world as we as in the fish belongs to the animal world the snake belongs to the animal world the uh, the bird belongs to the animal bird yet there were changes as per the habitat now that were modifications on similar lines we will see what are the modifications in leaves now why do leaves have to modify the leaves will show different kinds of modifications so that they are able to survive in whichever habitat they are growing and they will perform other functions why other functions because they are going to do photosynthesis they are going to do transpiration apart from that they will also perform other functions which will help the plant grow survive in that particular habitat okay now you can see here in the picture there's a mention of tendrils of grape vine you can see here there's a this is an insectivorous plant venus flytrap these are the thorns or spines of cacti cactus and this is a succulent succulent means which stores water and food of a jade plant this is storage of food in the leaves of onions and the petals of the flowers are also considered as modification of leaf all right though out of this today we will be doing 1 2 3 three modifications we are going to study all right understand you should know what is a bulb now what is a bulb a bulb contains an underground stem which is reduced in size the leaves are swollen with storage food and the leaf also grow above the ground which turn out into scaly leaves all right so these uh, these uh, storage uh, also will protect the main bud the leaves which are storing food will also protect the main bud that is growing in the center all right now in plants like asparagus you will see the leaves are very very thin and scaly and the stem is used for eating all right you i'm sure you must have heard as asparagus as food just have a look now this is your entire plant the roots the stem and the leaves now this is real leaves of asparagus and this is what you get in the market that we get home for uh, cooking right so these are the stems of asparagus and these are the leaves the scaly leaves now this scaly leaves you can see though here they are green in color but many a times they are very very thin and membranous now here the modification of the leaf is for storage all right the storage of food even if you see these are the leaves of onions now today 
after you go through the video you can actually take an onion and observe the roots the dry brown roots that we cut off from here and the part which goes up you can see the dried scaly leaf there and the leaves that store the food form the part of the structure called as bulb all right this word you will have to remember again when we do uh, reproduction in plants the vegetative reproduction in plants again this is very important part of vegetative reproduction we will come to that later but you cannot afford to forget what is a bulb what is a bulb no i am not talking about the electric bulb in your house right and don't giggle a bulb contains an underground stem which is reduced in size it will have the leaves that are swollen with stored food and the main bud that is growing is that clear students right so one example is of uh, onions the other example is of asparagus which has again scaly leaves now here uh, there is uh, the first one is a give reason uh, desert plants have leaves reduced to spines you have to justify to uh, name the other word used for desert plants right then two examples that show leaf modification for support what are scaly leaves and you have to sketch and label the structure of onion bulb it uh, it might not come for actually drawing in the assessment or exam but you need to learn how to label the structure right so for that at home now that you have ample of time you can learn the sketching as well and then uh, label the structure of the onion bulb all right that's all for now take good care of yourself eat healthy food and maintain all the safety norms that your parents say bye children bye for now have a look at all of them this entire leaf except stipules as tendrils okay so this are the stipules don't get confused these are the stipules and these are the leaves which are turning into tendrils whereas here the terminal leaf this is the terminal the end leaf will turn into tendrils for support here look at the apex of the leaf what was the apex the tip of the leaf is turning into tendril okay now here this leaves are normal but the stipules are turning into tendrils and looking for support and here the petiole of the leaf is turning into a tendril so you can see that the tendrils are basically for support of the plant and they can be the entire leaf the tip of the leaf or the petiole of the leaf or the stipules of the leaf that can turn into a tendril is that clear i hope uh, this is simple enough to understand and you can also see around in nature once you come back to school i'll definitely show you we have creepers growing in our school campus and uh, lovely creepers which will you can see the tendril structure clearly there but till then i hope you can understand what are basically tendrils and how they are helping the plants to uh, grow by providing them that's needed support you can see the stems are really very thin okay and they cannot bear the weight of the plant so they take the support of the tendrils can we have a quick recap of what we have done we have studied the structure of leaf we have studied the types of leaves simple leaves compound leaves then we have seen how the arrangement of veins happen within the leaves whether they are parallelly laid or they are in network form then we have further studied about the arrangement of leaves on the stem opposite to each other alternate to each other or in circular pattern then the last time that had uh, we had met across this video lesson was uh, to learn the important processes that a leaf does what are the mo most important functions that leaves do that is of photosynthesis and transpiration correct today we will see the modifications of leaves all right so what exactly modifications mean 
that we will see and what are the types correct so please focus pay attention keep your book pen ready and then we begin hello my dear students how are you all i know almost a month right at home not allowed to go down to play not allowed to meet friends getting bored well you have no choice because we are fighting a pandemic we are fighting a disease which is spread like wildfire across the globe correct so what we can do the next best alternative is utilize the time that you're getting with your family with your siblings with your parents to the best of your ability correct you can invent lot of nice games you know ask your parents what they had done in their childhood when you know there was uh, we would hardly be allowed to watch television as you people watch nowadays we had no smartphones we had no mobile phones forget about smartphones we didn't have mobile phones but we were still very very busy playing even at home i remember lot of games can be played at home right so you can all do that and balance it out with little bit of studies correct so let's start with our biology chapter today what are we doing parts of plants correct and now we are almost on the uh, end of this leaf part there's only one more aspect of leaf to be studied then we move on to flowers right now the second modification that you will study is for support all right now if you have uh, potted plants in your house and if you happen to uh, grow money plant okay that also is a creeper which will seek out for support now you can see that the tendrils are showing this curled wiry structure which actually twines around a support and helps the plant grow now in certain plants uh, which are having weak stem what will happen the stem is not able to bear the weight of the entire plant so the leaf either the entire leaf or a part of it gets modified into an elongated thin cylindrical coiled wiry sensitive structure known as tendrils why is uh, sensitive because it senses touch the moment it gets a support the tendril will try to go around the support all right that is why sensitive here means that it senses a support and goes around it now these tendrils help the plant to climb up on some support even your grape vines all right so in vineyard you will see the grape vines they are all being supported by uh, sticks like structures and the tendrils take the support of the sticks and the plants grow in a uh, wild pea the entire leaf turns into a tendril all right whereas in sweet sweet pea the terminal leaflets are turning into ten terminal means uh, at the end at the apex of the plant the higher most part of the plant the leaflets are turning into tendrils okay whereas only one leaf apex in case of gloriosa will modify into tendril and in some plants the stipules turn into tendrils so summing it up we did three modifications in leaves what are leaf what are modifications the modifications are the changes made in the plants or leaves basically here we are studying about the modifications in leaves which help the plants to survive and perform other functions and three modifications we have studied leaf modification for protection for support and for food storage all right so now we i have just a small exercise for you the first modification is the modification of leaf for protection now leaf spines you can see those thorns present on this particular part of the cacti plant in some xerophytic plants now xerophytic word is not there in the textbook 
but i want you to know and i am i'm not able to recollect whether we have come across this term in uh, grade 5 adaptation chapter but even if it was not there you can note it down xerophytes are those plants growing in desert and semi desert areas means the areas where there is lack of water there is dearth of water the plants growing there are called the are called as xerophytes or xerophytic plants now the example given here is of opuntia opuntia is nothing but a type of cactus the entire leaf gets modified now these are the leaves okay and the green part that you can see is actually the stem of the plant so the leaves are completely reduced to thorn like structures called spines now why is that happening so that there is less amount of water loss 